All right, Naomi, thanks for uh, joining the Guru Challenge here. So we're going to help you um, build out your solution in Smartsheet here. Marvin, okay. I would like to put a radio button in here okay. um, to be able to determine what's past due and what's complete. If the internal working status changes to okay, mm -hmm. I would like to see, uh, you know, a green radio button here, or if it's uh, TBC or question mark, I would like to see mm -hmm. a red radio button there. And yeah. that could be dependent on the um, planned delivery date. Okay. And by radio button, you're talking about those little colored balls? Yes. The little, okay. So we're going to need to add another column here and then next to that, insert a column there. And it's going to need to be a symbol. And you can choose those different. Yeah, you can choose those. You can, whichever ones you like. Okay. You want that to be triggered off the working status and the date. Just the date. If the, Just the date, date is okay. If the due date is three twenty three, and you know today is three twenty five, I should see a red radio button. Okay. Okay. So the due date's in the past. Mm -hmm. so it's red. Okay. In my ebook, I got this formula here that's kind of like what you're trying to do. Um, in this case, you're not using status, but you're going to be using the the due date or that date column. And uh -huh. so it'll be something along the lines of, you know, if today is greater than that date, we're going to mark it red. So it's going to look something like that. Okay. So go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to click on here and like all formulas, I'm just going to say, uh, yeah. And what's the name of that column? Let's see. Plan delivery date. Plan delivery date. This one here, right? Mm -hmm. So if that date is um, less than today, then we want to make it red. Also, just well, for now, we'll just leave it blank. So oh wow. That's giving us an invalid because. Oh, I know why. That column, I think, is not marked as a date column, possibly. This column here, that's why it's shown invalid. See, it's a text number. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so we have to mark it as a date. And it could be that um, what we have to look at is the text there. So yes, hold, no. So that, mm -hmm. that's how we'll have to reference using the formula. Um, if it was the, uh, there's some symbol columns that use just strictly colors like red, green, yellow, blue. Uh -huh. And those, when you reference them in the formula, you can use red, green, yellow, blue. Um, since this one has this text, yes, hold, no, that's how we'll select them in the formula. So okay, we'll get to do this. We'll do, um, we're going to convert this to a column formula. I think this could be easier. You like that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is where you can go ahead. You, um, you know how to edit a column formula? No. Okay. You right click on any, any of those cells in that column. Mm -hmm. And you can do edit column formula. And here's where we're going to change the no to red. And it's in quotes to indicate that it's a string. Hit enter, and there we go. Um, and you also want to take into account the internal working status, right? So go ahead and edit that formula again. And uh, in that if statement, we're gonna we're gonna wrap that uh, plan delivery da 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 less than today. We're gonna wrap that in the and statement. Okay. So um, I can I can show you real quick if you'd like. Yes. Or please. or do that. Okay. Take control here. So we're gonna say, we're gonna wrap in an and statement or and function. And we're gonna say and, um, 
internal. Uh, can't spell. Working status. And we're gonna use that at row because we always wanna look at the one at the row. And we're gonna say, um, is it, what's the uh, terminology used? Is it, is it okay or is it? Uh, uh, red. Um, well, internal, oh. when the internal working status is what? Is, is a question mark. Okay, okay. Or TBC. Okay. And so we're going to further, we're going to wrap this in an or statement. I think you see where we're going here. So is it uh, T dot B dot C or is it just TBC? I can't just remember. TBC. Yeah. Okay. Then was there another condition as well? Yes. It was question mark TBC and blank. Okay. I'm actually using the wrong syntax here. I'm I'm thinking of a different uh <laughs> I'm thinking of a different function. Okay. And so what we, we can do is we can wrap this in an is blank function. Mm -hmm. Is blank. row you want to call it green for now if for the else condition is that looking about right yes um the green should be if the internal working status is okay this will be um, this is going to turn into a nested if statement which i also cover in my ebook by the way these always get a little tricky when you start nesting them but uh, you can keep them straight uh, just uh, using these parentheses highlights a different color. Uh, mm -hmm. Pay attention to that it really, really helps you out in the long run here. Um, so if our internal working status, right, at row is equal to, you said, okay, then we want to call it green, right? Right. You know, let's think about this. So if you're Internal working status is okay. It's not going to be triggered by any of these. So it should then skip this and evaluate this statement. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay in this uh, scenario. Okay. Sometimes you have to think about this when you're using if state, nested if statements. Mm -hmm. It's uh, always going to evaluate the first if statement first, the second one second, the third one third. So it's going to go down that line until it finds a true if statement. And mm. the true condition is this first one. So, um, you know, if statement, you have a condition of value of true. And then you have the condition of value of false, uh, which is an optional value in Smartsheet. Um, but in this case, what happens is Smartsheet's going to look at this first condition with this, this big and statement or and uh, function with this or function as well evaluate that if if this evaluates to false it's going to go to this if statement if for some reason this one evaluates to true it's going to mark it red immediately so okay um, now now do you want to use yellow in any scenario the yellow color or just red and green yes i would like to use yellow if mm -hmm. the um internal working status is um in the future or the, the no. planned delivery date is in the future the planned delivery date is in the future okay. and the internal working status is yeah let's just do that if the planned delivery date is in the future we'll just mark it yellow okay and what do you want to do about the situation where the delivery date is equal to today does should that be yellow or would that be a red Condition. That's going to be red. Okay. So we want to say less than or equal to today for um, the planned delivery date for the red. So does this look correct? You have TBC for the internal working status. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but it's yellow because the plan delivery date's in the future. Right. Well, I think that, that uh, wraps up our session here for today. Um, okay. Thank you so I think, much. I think we made some good progress here. So yes. Uh, appreciate your, your time here. Let me know if you have any other questions, you can email me. Okay, great. Thanks, or, uh, Dan. Appreciate it. I hope this was valuable. It was very valuable. Was Thank you so okay. much. And how do I purchase your book? Is there a link on LinkedIn or? Um, sure, you can get it from my website. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll send you a link here. Okay. Um, uh, you, you could actually go to smartcheatguru.com slash user guide. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Danny. All right. Thank you.